It's impossible to deny that gangster movies have had a huge impact on hip hop culture, from inspired names and albums to music videos. But I'm Raw bins and endless papes, God's sake, what it and theme songs from classics like The Godfather that have been sampled. And of course, real and cinematic gangsters appear in plenty of lyrics. The list of great gangster films is long, but these four have cemented themselves in hip hop and pop culture in general. The Godfather. All right, come up though. Goodfellas, Scarface, and a lesser known film that's caused plenty of controversy, The King of New York. I feel no remorse. Yo, it's a terrible thing. <laughs> First up, The Godfather series. At the window, peeking at the window, baby in the pool, Godfather go. Director Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather premiered in 1972 and is about the fictitious and powerful Italian American crime family of Don Vito Corleone. When the Don's youngest son, Michael, reluctantly joins the Mafia, the cycle of violence and betrayal threatens to destroy him. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Make him an offer that they can't refuse. He resists boxing me till he can't be moved. Michael and his father Vito, played by Al Pacino and Marlon Brando respectively, have appeared in hundreds of lyrics according to Genius Data. Don Corleone, trust me at the top it isn't lonely. Everybody acting like they know me, dawg. Life a movie, not a short film. Big budget, Scarface, Al Pacino. One of the most disturbing and iconic images from the film is when a man wakes up to find the head of his prized racehorse under his sheets as a message from the dawn. And that moment's been used in numerous lyrics as well. Get out of pocket, have a horseless head in your bed. Now that's what I call a good night's rest. You played out. JJ Pass. Small ties put a head in your bed. Next up is Martin Scorsese's 1990 classic, Goodfellas. Goodfellas is about real life mobster Henry Hill, played by Ray Liotta, and his life with the Lucchese crime family. He enjoys his money and luxury, but ultimately a drug addiction and a few mistakes end his career. Though Henry is the star, rappers have taken a liking to some of the film's supporting characters, like boss Pauly Cicero and tough guy Jimmy Conway, played by Paul Servino and Robert De Niro, respectively. I'm like Pauly and Goodfellas, you can call me the Don. Like Malcolm by any means, with my gun in my palm. Far from a hero, bitch, I'm De Niro in Goodfellas. If your bitch around me, best bring an umbrella. Some of the incomparable Goodfellas scenes also get nods, like the infamous Billy Bat shine box beatdown scene, which eventually gets Tommy killed. I go home and get your fucking shine box. Motherfucker! Cause when we set up in the party like I'm out you scurry, so go get your fucking shine box and your sack of nickels. You can easily see that this movie struck a chord since the next line has been used repeatedly throughout the years. Business bad? Fuck you, pay me. Oh, you had a fire? Fuck you, pay me. Place got hit by lightning, huh? Fuck you, pay me. 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 Ain't selling any records? Fuck you, pay me. Perhaps no gangster movie has had a bigger impact on hip hop than Brian De Palma's Scarface, a crime saga about the rise and fall of Cuban refugee Tony Montana, who becomes a powerful drug lord, which dropped in 1983. Lesson number two, don't get high on your own supply. No, you heard this before. Never get high on your own supply. Say hello to my little friend. And I'll invite Sarah Palin out to dinner then. Nail up. Baby, say hello to my little friend. Look at the watch of my friend. Say hello to my little friend. One Texas MC even adopted Scarface as his rap name, making references to the movie An Easy Mix. I ain't falling short because I got money in the power. Yeah. Money in the power. You gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. And this line that has been used plenty of times. First you get that money, then you get that power. First you get the money, then you get the power. I believe in money, power, respect. First you get the money, then you get the motherfucking power. In 2003, there was even a Def Jam compilation album inspired by Scarface, including artists like Jay Z, N.W.A., and Ice Cube. We all are savages in pursuit of the American dream. Rappers relate to that because that's how we come up. The world is yours.
Last, we have 1990's King of New York, directed by Abel Ferreira, which was made for a small amount of money and earned about the same in theaters, but had a giant impact on the hip hop world. Specifically, starting fights. From here on, nothing goes down unless I'm involved. No blackjack, no dope deals, no nothing. The film follows Frank White, a psychotic drug lord played by Christopher Walken and his dead eyes, who gets out of prison and learns that the streets are much tougher than they used to be. The film inspired the notorious B.I.G. who called himself the Black Frank White, and Lil' Kim who calls herself Miss White. The thrill is gone, the Black Frank White is here to excite me. Here comes the Grim Reaper, Frank White, need the keys to your innkeeper. But he wasn't the last to utter White's words. Go online, still won't find these kicks like Frank White when he did the Chinese hit. Since its release, the film's title has caused quite a stir in the East Coast rap scene around who is actually the king of New York. A few have claimed the throne, like Jay Z, 50 Cent, and Takashi69 threw his hat in the ring in 2018 and subsequently took it out. All oh, y'all niggas keep that king of New York shit. I already had that shit, y'all can have that shit. Cardi B took her shot as well. The throne, my sugar mink, tell me what Hova think. I get the money. I'm the king of New York. Even West Coast rapper Kendrick Lamar claimed it for himself. Kinda. I'm Macavelli's offspring. I'm the king of New York, king of the coast. Main has that really understood the context of the line with the actual kings of New York. It's not about what side we on. It's about being great. As big, as pot. From The Godfather to The King of New York, these films have inspired some of your favorite rappers. What do we miss? Let us know in the comments. I'm Hillary with Genius News, bringing you the meaning, the knowledge, and the offers you can't refuse behind the music.